According to the information obtained from the police, eight farmers moved into farm Vetsand and occupied the farm warehouse premises and erected checks without authorization. The group spokesperson Leslie Pinar told NBC News that they decided to invade the farm because they don't have grazing land and the farm has been idling for more than three years without any occupant. This is costing us as the youth and we won't stop. This is not intimidating us by telling us we will lock you up and you will be, you will be quiet. If we come back, we're still going to go to the farm. We will occupy the land that our forefathers have died for. And we are sick and tired of this uh, de uh, democracy under dictatorship. We are sick and tired of these dictators acting like they are Democrats. Later in the day, the group was charged and appear in the Red Flame Magistrate Court, and each were ordered to pay bail of $800, on condition that they remove their animals within three days. Their case will be heard on the 15th of July. NBC is reliably informed that the resettlement farm has been reserved for the retainees from Botswana. The public broadcaster reached out to the chairperson of the resettlement committee, who is the governor, but it was unsuccessful as his mobile phone was off. The ministry says the farm can be occupied but lawfully. Garie Kabari, NBC News, Vetflay.